Two, one. Oh, wait. Now, your forecast for on by. Push. Mike's in Q1. Good Thursday morning. We're tracking some thunderstorms this morning and also throughout the evening hours today. A very hot day as well. Your forecast first at 8 o'clock. Swing around. Box on two. Moving through, especially Going right to along the, the video Nixon first line tease. at 73 degrees. Nearing 90 degrees at lunchtime and 97 at 4 o'clock with a spotty thunderstorm. A better chance later on this evening. It will feel like the triple digits this Fade afternoon. Music. That's a look at your forecast first, a full forecast in just a few minutes. The news at 5.30 a.m. Animation. begins right now. Next here. Good morning, our top stories this Thursday. A local university facing loss of accreditation receives an extension. We'll tell you how long it'll last. We're all next And a new voter ID law in Going Pennsylvania to be channel B open as it be. But there's a chance it could change. We'll explain straight ahead. We'll be covering 16 counties too. in four states. This is WHAG News. Fade it out, Mike and Cure. Good morning, thank you for being with us on this Thursday. I'm Lynn Lawson. Our top story, Mountain Going State to University a next VO. has been extended to December 31st. Roll A. That's according to the university's website. The Higher Learning Commission next box. granted the thank extension. You. They were also the ones that revoked their accreditation, which would have went into effect on August 27th. The accreditation loss came after they determined MSU lacked leadership, communication, and financial resources. The university, which has a campus in Martinsburg, plans to appeal. They are also not accepting Standby. students. On two. Meanwhile, police are investigating Going to two on full screen. that they believe were committed by the same man. Take on full July screen. At around Going at to Deco two. Say this full man screen. robbed a 7-Eleven on Main Street in Libertytown, Maryland. Police say he's a white male who's wearing a gray scarf tied around his face. Take Deco two. The second robbery was on July Coming 9th back to at around camera 11 two in a at box. night. Police say this time it happened at the Blue Ridge Food Mart in Washington Township, Pennsylvania. In both cases, the suspect demanded money and was armed with a rifle, which was fired at the scene. If you recognize the weapon or have any information on the crimes, you're Stand asked by on to two. please. On you. A lawsuit Going is to be next. Maryland over the congressional redistricting map petition. Will be the Maryland Democratic Party is suing the state board of elections. We're going to wipe to video next. Validity. The Maryland Board of Elections has certified Washington County Delegate Neil Parrott and his volunteers submitted almost 60,000 signatures up. for this referendum. Organizers only needed around 56,000 signatures. The lawsuit's deadline is quickly approaching. Language for the ballot must be certified by August 20th. Really? Meanwhile, Pennsylvania's new voter ID law has landed We're going to go to B next. It's a sod. Constitutional. The judge is expected to rule on the law sometime in mid-August. If it's not overturned, it will mean everyone has to show a photo ID before voting, starting with the November elections. The state is issuing voter IDs to everyone who doesn't already have proper photo identification. Stand by. Free and valid for a 10-year period. Roll B, take that. The ID must have a photo, a name, and an expiration date. Stand by on um, two. For most people, that would be their driver's license. Mike Skewer. Officials say people were given eight months since the law was enacted to get a photo ID before the election. Well, Maryland's public Going to education next package. is ranked number one across the country, and teachers are take buckling super. down to hold on Thank to you. that. WHOG's Dana Chicklis reports. Roll A, take A. Ten, stand by on camera two in a box. In Berkeley Springs, Jennifer Lee, WHAG. Mike Skewer. An interesting fact about water is 97% Getting ready to roll of tweets. water is salt water. And only 2% is available for human use. Roll tweets. Tweets up. Be sure to send us your thoughts on this story. I'll take by next box. Thank you. Or on Facebook at WHAG's fan page. Or Stand on by. At your four state. On camera two. About 20 Gonna go to B next. VO. Came to help a family after their world turned upside down. Oh, yes. A car crash last December left a one-year-old girl named Ava Del Rico fighting for her life. Roll B, take B. Ava's parents have been unable to work. To We're going to go to A next. Covered. It's a SOT. The yard sale yesterday is helping the family with medical costs. Before it even started, they already received $1,400 in donations. We're going to tag on this However, box, then we're going to switch Rico box. Never asked for money. It's something the volunteers thought going to they A next. had to do. Roll A, take A. I feel that that's why so many people Tagging, then switching box. To this cause. Coming back to because camera two. And we feel in our hearts. Stand by. Someone that we know. And we would hope that someone would do the same for us if we were in this situation. Mike's cure. Ava was released from the hospital Friday. 
According to family and friends, she is getting stronger every day. Get ready to and swap, stand by, and swap box. Maryland's Thank you. This is a reader. We're going to go to Deco 1 for webpole next. You can ready webpole. Have affirmed the state status as Thank you. Official prepare for next month's sale of more than $900 million in general obligation bonds. Maryland is one of only eight states to boost a AAA rating from Standard and Poor's. And, and we'll web poll. Take web poll. So that brings us to our web poll. We're going to go to Channel B next. Weather bump. Drivers. Yes or no. Just head to our website, yourforestate.com, to cast your ballot. Roll B. Mike's Cure. It's Going to Skycam next. Take Skycam. Roll live, it's bug. Really Thank nice you. Uh, temperatures are on the chilly side right now, Ananda. We are seeing some sunshine. Two, you can get straight up on Ananda. Tough to break away, but they will just in an hour or so. The breeze is not going to be that much of a factor today. The camera's shaking about just a little bit, but the winds definitely. Getting ready to go to Weatherwall. Weatherwall up. Temperatures outside right now: 34 in Hagerstown, 35 in Martinsburg, 32 degrees in Romney and in Cumberland, 21 in Oakland. Meanwhile, it's 37 degrees in Frederick. So we're starting to warm up. Show Allen one quickly. minute. And one the minute. Wind speeds right now. Not much of a factor, but even with that little bit of wind, the wind chills down to 27 in Hagerstown and then Chambersburg. It feels like 30 in Martinsburg and 13 cold degrees in Oakland, Maryland. For the day today, high pressure burling in charge. You can see a lot of clear skies off to our west, and that's what's going to happen today. Mainly sunny skies, a very nice day on tap with this big blue H, our friend for the day today. A temperature, a seasonable temperature of 45 degrees this afternoon. A very pleasant day. As Show them 30. Relax. 30. Your forecast bright sunshine, 43 to 48 degrees with a west wind turning out of the south at 5 to 10. And for tonight, plenty of stars. It's 20. Really 27 to 32. And tomorrow, mostly sunny, breezy, a mild. But check out these numbers, 57 to 62 degrees with that west wind at 10 to 10. 20 Dot miles an hour. So definitely on the warmer side for tomorrow. It will feel like spring. All right, let's take a look at that. Stand Dobbins her by on camera morning. two, straight up. Forum for City Council and Memorial uh, candidates. That's Wednesday, March 14th at 7 o'clock at City Hall at the Council Chambers in Hagerstown. Stand by. Ananda. Mike's Cure. Right, Music now. under. Pull. Roll animation. Going to break in five, four, three, two, one. Go to break. Mike Cure. Wrapping up our top stories of the day, Mountain State University's accreditation has shot, been extended to December 31st. That's according to the university's website. The Higher Learning Commission granted the extension. They were also the ones that revoked their accreditation, which would have went into effect on August 27th. Meanwhile, a lawsuit is brewing in Maryland over the congressional redistricting map petition. The Maryland Democratic Party is suing the State Board of Elections. Democrats are challenging the signature's you validity. Can bring music. 30. The lawsuit's deadline is quickly approaching. Language for the ballot must be certified by August 20th. On them. All right, well, that will wrap it up for us this morning. The Today Show is up. 20. Next. Stay cool out, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Keep an eye to that sky, too. Hold on, too. And we'll snipe. And 10, 9, on 5, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, roll A. Going to break in three, two, one, go to break.